what's up beautiful people listen Arima, welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled will biden administration bob prince harry and changes nappy to king cisco field okay um the title the thumbnail looks really interesting and yeah i'm excited to check this one out to hear what the guy to say let's check it out talk about the situation with um, uh, the government lawsuit between Prince Harry uh, and, uh, you know, whatever is going on with his visa and, and the Heritage mm. Foundation. What's the latest? Yeah, so what we found out is lawyers claimed Prince Harry could face stigma if his U.S. visa documents were oh, no. released. I know. This information was found inside a 53-page transcript. Um, this was a court hearing, though, in February. We're mm. just now finding out about it. Uh, I looked up the definition of the word stigma, and mm. it says a mark of disgrace associated with a particular circumstance. Uh, disgrace is the key word there. Right. But the government's arguing that many of these records are law enforcement records. They believe there is a stigma associated with being mentioned in law enforcement records. They argue that publishing the files would expose confidential law enforcement tools, and the government insists that people who are public figures still maintain their privacy interests, which is funny when you think about the fact that Harry is a best-selling tell-all book right. author and reality <laughs> television star. Well, exactly right. And from my time working in America, I seem to remember one of the great things about the country is that they'll give you any piece of information you want. You know, I used to call the FBI on a regular basis and say, are you investigating these people in Wall Street or, you know, people that are doing this? And they always tell you but suddenly uh, harry seems to get pre pre preferred treatment. treatment yeah i mean is the biden administration going to burp him and change his nappy too this is a grown man <laughs> so i yeah i really don't understand why they're going to such great lengths to protect him mm. what you know the, the the issue is did he or did did he not admit to drug use on this paperwork right. or worst case scenario did he lie uh, and why are they going, uh, I mean, you know, th that Telegraph article says um, Biden administration pleads with court to keep mm. Prince Harry's right. visa documents right. under wraps. So th it's a, there's an air of desperation there. And why? Right, exactly right. It's a very simple. Exactly why? Because every, let's not forget that um, regardless of how it is, Prince Harry is used to be part of the royal family or is still part of the royal family. Let's use that because regardless of how you want to be whatever they do is still going to reflect to the royal family so now whatever information i've heard uh, i've heard about this i read this in the news days a couple of days ago and i just brushed it off i, I just thought i uh, said to myself maybe this is just another information on news in the uh, on the headline or just publication they want to make for some headlines but hearing this is just like yo it seems like they, they want to cover up his tracks or cover up some details or some information about him and this is what he wants he wants that private life but not so private life you get so he wants to be in the news but at the same time still maintain some level of privacy that kind of thing so the question is why exactly is he getting the preferential treatment because if he's decided he doesn't want to be part of the royal family i mean unlike when if if he was part of the royal family this information would not be out or would not get out i'm just saying maybe they might have sought it uh, done sort it in some way privately without people knowing about this but now that he is no longer part of the family but he still wants that tied to that treatment like that is not making sense and people are asking the question like people people can see so why is that since he's decided to not be part of the royal family doesn't he know that any other place that he goes to they will not treat him as being part of the family regardless because i understand that some countries will still want to give him that um treatment as one part of the royal family but there are some people that would be like okay um you don't want to be part of the royal family we're going to treat you as such so let me know what you think about this do you ha know the reason why he's giving this professional treatments to them they still want to keep his status private or whatnot i really love your contribution let's go on.
here and why? Right, exactly right. It's a very simple question. Just answer the question and we can all move on, you know. But yeah. they don't seem to want to do that because, again, Harry has got this obsession with privacy, uh, except for when he wants to blow it's everybody else's privacy out of the water. Fascinating. Interesting, uh, looking back at uh, their trip to Nigeria, <laughs> I see that uh, there's been a little bit of a backlash uh, on the grounds that a couple of people there have described Meghan as somebody who kind of came and uh, saw and just kind of used everybody. So, you know, it's being described as a sly dig. The mm. first lady said girls and women in Nigeria do not want to mimic and try to emulate film stars from America. Meghan Markle, star of Hallmark's <laughs> Daters Handbook, yeah. she said we have to do something to tell them we don't accept nakedness in our culture. That is not beautiful. It's not beautiful at all. And she stressed that... Um, why she said why did Megan come here looking for a uh, for Africa this is something we have to take home with we know who we are we don't lose who we are so there it sounded a bit like she was criticizing Meghan Markle there almost criticizing the way Megan dressed which yes. we heard a lot of people criticizing the way Megan dressed mm. And it, it just did not seem like a necessarily positive response to their trip. It didn't sound like she loved it, did it? I mean, you have to say. <laughs> um, let's finish up with um, a story in the papers this morning. The Sun's got it. Uh, an intruder at Buckingham Palace last year um, climbed over gates to get into the courtyard of the royal residence, according to some court papers. Uh, he tripped the security system at 9.30. He was stopped by police in around four minutes. He said he didn't know where he was. Uh, he said he just wanted to go uh, for a pee. I'm sorry, I laughed so hard at this story, Mike, because when I was at Windsor Castle, I gleefully documented my we. And everybody wants to pee in a castle, okay? Yeah. I, I, I'm just telling you right now, I can I can feel, I can justify this 52-year-old man. There I am. There, that's me in the bathroom And there's Windsor a picture Castle. of you at Windsor Castle. How did you get into Windsor Castle? I was touring it. I, was, I mean, I'm, it's, it's a general bathroom, but I was still so excited to be using a castle bathroom that I had to document moment, the moment yes. with a selfie. Yes. So I, it's, no one should break into a castle. That's the wrong plan. But I understand the enthusiasm around yeah. using their, their, their restrooms. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure the response Megan Gamako got from the First Lady of Nigeria wasn't what they were expecting. They wanted this grand appearance grand image likable appearance where everything ever everybody loved them or everybody appear um, uh, is uh, excited to see them and yeah for the commentary on what the first lady said honestly i've always said it myself regardless of how people want to see see things if you're going someplace regardless of how your it is in your culture culture your home country or wherever you're coming from if you're going someplace new learn about their culture learn about their values their tradition even if you don't want to adopt it but for the sake of for the reason you are there act accordingly when in rome behave like the romans it is that simple it is not confusion and yeah we understand that some people would be like okay well um they would continue their dressing pattern or their dressing sense but in all honesty if you're going someplace and you learn about them i thought she the essence of her is to connect to nigeria like she said or connect to being part of nigeria for her for, for her 43 for her 43 percent so she should have done her due diligence to learn how they dress or learn how nigerians dress especially the women because i mean i i myself i would not say nothing wrong with her outfit others would because i mean regardless of how it is some people still want to adopt the modern culture of dressing and whatnot but again let's be honest the way megan dressed with revealing outfit and whatnot i don't think many nigerian ladies would dress like that if they're going to see the president if they're going to see going for an office meeting or whatever that is not that is for red carpet that is not for official outfit and that is it so if the first lady called her out on that i think she has a right to because i mean when you look at many of the ladies how they dress and how they present themselves because they know the kind of person they are meeting so they need to dress accordingly dress all covered up nobody is saying you should wear anything to okay to cover your entire face nigeria itself has both muslims and christians in it and there are also other religions in nigeria as well some semi religions attached to it but again because 
you're going somewhere someplace new you have to learn and dress accordingly it is just that simple it's common logic here if i'm going to a northern part of nigeria or a place where they have um the, as women you're supposed to dress all covered up i will not go like this and i know that for sure because i know the consequences so my point is people should learn how learn other play people's culture their values and um their tradition even if it's just for the uh, first uh, your time that that time of your visit it is important but of course this right here was not something i don't think this was something they thought through yeah i, I wouldn't say that she completely dressed uh, inappropriately but i mean some part did not sit well with some people but again if the first lady of nigeria called her out on that i think she has the right to because um to her she's like okay this is not what she wants to put um, to be presented to our young girls you're going to school all dressed like that young girls are watching their scene and that is not what they want to groom those girls into but again mega Markle and prince harry they are coming they are coming to nigeria i i think they, their tour gave them a good pr headline except for this comment of the first lady of nigeria which they didn't see coming but let me know what you think about this i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share i really love your honest contribution you can share the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video